Hello, in this video, we are going to see how to create the attendance tracking format and how to keep track on the course completion or course progress report for each student by the faculty. Okay, uh, in, here in the address bar, I will be typing the uh, address of the Moodle site that is fundamentalslearner.nomeo.com. As you see in the right side, it is showing you are not logged in, so I have to log in. Once I want to log in, you can, I can see here, this is where uh, I am going to log in. Students can also log into the course. When a student can log in, they will be seeing only the course content, right? They cannot, uh, they can take the assignments, they can take the quizzes, right? But they cannot uh, edit the content. Only the admin or the faculty can access the content. And the, so the username is admin. The password will be in the mail. I have copied the password and I pasted. I am logging into the site. Right. I am logging into the site as the as the admin. Now uh, there is a option site administration. Okay. Before that, go into site home. In site home, get into the control system course that I have created. Okay, once you enter into the control system course, get into the site administration. Site administration is where we can we are having so many control options, right? What sort of attendance option I can give, what should what sort of students I can enroll. Those all the all controls will be in the site administration. In this in the search bar, just you can search manage blocks. Manage blocks. And remember, M should be capital, right? If you put small M, I mean, uh, if you put a small M, I will be getting, you won't be getting the correct results. Search results for manage blocks. Yes. Okay. So this is the manage block, right? You can see the things like activities. This is the eye I symbol. When the eye is opened, it is blue in color. That means they are all enabled. You can see the lock. This is a lock symbol. No, lock is opened. Here, yeah, lock is closed, right? Okay. Now you can see where is attendance here attendance right attendance is in some uh, i is closed right so what i have to do just i got to click click over it if you click you can see now the attendance has turned blue and you turn the protect instances just you click that also you'll open the lock okay right similarly you come to scroll down you can see Completion progress, right? What is completion progress? Is assume you have created a course of five chapters. Students is uh, students are studying uh, from the beginning of the semester. They are going through the chapter one to chapter five or module one to module five. You want to track the progress. A student also want to know whether he have whether we have gone through all sections in the Moodle or the course created in the Moodle. So uh, if you give an option such that he or he or she can ensure that I have covered these topics. It's like uh, we have some chart, right? Bar chart. That bar chart will indicate you have covered the 80% of the course. You have covered 40% of the course. Okay. Not 40% will be indicated in some color changes, right? Okay. So that's what your completion progress. Okay. Completion progress is in blue color. That is that is also enabled. And I am going to open this lock also. Right. So protect instances. I have opened that also. Then uh, course completion status. Okay, that also I'm going to open. Right. Okay. Right. Now you can you have to ensure that attendance, this I is opened, right? That is enabled. This lock is also opened. Then course com completion progress I is, I is also enabled. And the lock is opened. And course completion status I is open. And the lock is enabled. Okay. So once you have done this, you can go into the site home okay and go, I went into the site home the site home only I can see my courses right I have only have one course in the site that is my control system and getting into that course right if you want to edit anything you have to go into the gear icon I have to turn editing on then only I can turn the editings okay I am just clicking it right as of now, what is the content available? You can see clearly 
I have given a welcome address. I have given the course syllabus. Then I have given module one notes. Then some online content I have referred. Then I had some discussion. Then I have introduced some chat modules. Okay, these are the course content, right? Suppose assume a student has uh, has completed the welcome note, has read the course syllabus. That means he has completed this part. Then he is progressing into module one notes. If he completed this, then that part will be completed. Okay. So out of the seven things, three he has completed. Six, six things, three he has completed. Three he has he or she has to complete, right? So next he will be going to the online content. This will be given in the course completion or course progress, right? We will see how to enable that. Okay. First we will go into the each edit settings. Before that, uh, one thing you have to keep in mind. See, there is a add a block, right? These are the blocks already, right? By default, we'll have a welcome. Module one. These are standards, right? Additionally, if you want edit anything below the site administration, the left side, you can have a add a block. You click that. Okay, you can see what are the blocks available. Okay, see completion progress is the block available, right? You just click it. Completion progress. That is the block we are going to add. Okay, now here you see a completion progress block has come here. Okay, since I have already uh, done this. I got this block now filled. Okay, we can see now. Uh, welcome, welcome to the course. Right, go into the edit, edit settings. Okay, this is what I have. You will have an activity completion, right? Under what condition the activity is completed? Okay, I am saying that see for just for welcome address. I don't want to want to add anything like. Okay. You can click this option and see. Do not indicate activity completion. You do not consider for activity completion, right? And something like after working that the student can manually check the activity as completed, or else once when some condition is met, I can say it is completed. Okay, I have these many options. Okay, let me say I am manually. The can students can manually mark the activity as completed. I am going for the second option. Now I am going to save and return to the course. Okay, now I can see a tick mark, right? See, so this is the tick mark. Once I uh, uh, disabled editing, uh, we can see those boxes, right? Next, I go into course syllabus, go into the edit settings, scroll down, activity completion. What I have to say after reading the syllabus, I have to unlock completion options, right? I have unlocked that. And what it should be like? Show activity as complete when conditions are met. Okay. What is the condition? Uh, it's like uh, if this means after taking the quiz, it will be by default it will be met, right? These things the student has to mark manually. Okay. I am putting it manually completed. Save and return to the course. Likewise, a second I can do for the module one notes. In module one notes. I have given students can mark the activity as completed. Okay. Likewise, I do for all the, the activities I have created. Okay. Now I am going to disable editing. Turn editing off. Okay. Right. So this is the page. You can see in the right side how many options. Say how many activities are there? One, two. Here four options are there in module one, right? So totally six are there. You can see six different boxes are there. If you keep over the first box, it will say "Welcome to the course," and below that you can see a red mark "Not completed." Red in two mark. Next course syllabus "Not completed." Module one notes "Not completed." Okay, you can see. Right now, what I'm going to do is. Oh, student, right? You remember, I assume this is the admin is also a student for any course, right? That is another one thing you have to know. I am getting into this. I am seeing the introduction. Welcome to the course. I am seeing this, uh, right? Okay. Then I read these things. Good. Now what I okay? So I come back to the course control system. Now I completed this, right? Now observe closely. I am going to tick this box because I have read the welcome note. I have ticked it, right? Okay. Now, next course syllabus. 
suppose if i read the code syllables i will tick that okay okay so as soon as i tick those things you can see those two things like first thing welcome to the course has turned into green second thing has turned into second is syllabus has turned into green suppose i have completed chat for module 1 if i do that what will happen the last thing chat for module 1 will be let's try to refresh this right i go in again i go into cs then we can see okay you see where the chat chat for module last one that has turned into green like this you can track right okay this is how you can track the progress for the course next we will see how to add the attendance okay before going into the attendance we will see what about the course completion right go into the again that gear icon you can see course completion this will be enabled only uh, you you have made that uh, you uh, have enabled we went into the site administration and enabled that i mark right turn into blue then only this will be enabled right go to the course course completion the course completion there are some conditions are there right okay when see activity completion what are the activities i have created totally six activities when all these are so okay then i can say all activities to be completed this is the condition right like uh, what is the condition for other courses if you complete that course max 1 means then only we can go through the max 2 like that you can set some condition and what is the duration of enrollment like you can say student should be enrolled for minimum i can say minimum for the course of 90 days then only they are eligible for the semester exam and course grade also i can set like the student should pass the exam with a grade of 5.0 i have to save the changes right okay this is the course completion condition Okay, it is in the gear icon. You can set it right. Okay, now we move into attendance. Similar to completion progress bar, you have to add the attendance by going into a add a block. You can see the attendance. Okay, you can add the attendance. Okay, due to shortage of time, we'll see the attendance in the next video. Here, I want to add another point. Uh, see, we are going. We are getting into the participants. You can see the list of students who are enrolled for this course, right? These five students. I can enroll using bulk addition using CSV file, or else using their own email address. Okay, students can self-enroll themselves. Okay, here you can see now the default mode is an admin mode. I can switch the role to students, right? You can play the role of a student. As a student. you can see this is the um, go into the cs okay you can see the student right fundamental learner is student now you can see this is the page you can see right now you cannot have edit option right go to the gear icon edit icon is not there right only there is a enroll option for this course you can see the options like tick mark right syllabus i am in disabling this tick mark okay you can see all are green that means all are completed now i have disabled this three i am going to refresh it i can see now i have disabled 3 so 3 has turned into blue color 3 3 i have completed those are in green color okay now i revert back to the normal role that is the admin role okay right and remember admin is also a student right okay as you can see admin you can refer here go to the participants okay i have made it like that what is the who is the admin uh, that fundamental learner okay he is also a student of this course that you have to keep in mind i have not added here but by default he is also a student for this course okay and other things like uh, um, attendance and all i will be explaining in the next video thanks for listening